Welcome the girls, this is Azerate and today I will give you seven nice and useful tricks that you can use while playing Diggy's Adventure. And uh, without further ado, the first one is rewind or cancelling some last actions. So m many people don't know uh, that this can be done actually and this can be used for most of the things that you do in, in game. Right, so let me demonstrate uh, on something very visible, easily visible. Right, so here are two uh, bowels, whatever it is, thingies. Okay, so I'm gonna open them, and after doing so, I will quickly refresh the page by clicking F5. Right, and you will see what happens. Okay, so let's try it now. One and two, and refresh. Okay, we are waiting for the reload to go through. Just a couple seconds. Okay, let's go back to that mine and see what happened. Yes, so as you can see, all uh, the, both of those are still left unopened. So what we did was basically cancel cancel this the act of opening those and what's more you can even cancel spending energy right so you can dig a tile but if you decide quickly enough that you want to go back and you you don't want this tile to be mined you can you can also rewind this action this also works for uh, selling equipment for uh, I don't know for everything pretty much Right, except things uh, that, uh, except system things like sending gifts. This this won't be re rewound probably, but uh, even selling items. So let me try on some. I will give you one more example. So I will put some less uh, less good item here, so I can show it to you. Okay, so iron ore card. Right, so I'm gonna sell it, and then we'll we'll see if it works. If the rewind works. Yes, so we are refreshing the game now. And there it is. It's back. Right, so basically whenever you do something that you didn't really want to do and you you understand the situation quickly, just click outside of the game window and click F5 on your keyboard or just click the refresh button above the game. Okay? Okay, the second interesting trick is uh, speeding up caravans. I mean, not, not the, uh, the time they have to travel, but speeding, cutting the time they uh, spend walking through your camp. So I, I will I will show you what what I mean by this. Okay, so let's for example cancel those two caravans here, and as you can see, we can't send them right away again. It's not possible. It's not available. Why? Because they have to walk slowly to this caravan outpost, whatever it's called. Right? They have to see. We have to wait all those seconds. It's like thirty seconds, I believe, or, or yeah. So see still can't send them so they have to the, the camels or the caravans have to come here they have to sit right and then only then you can send them again you see but this time can be cut it can be skipped completely actually and there are uh, two major ways that, that you can do it uh, two major methods of doing this. Okay, so na let's now send the caravans. Uh, okay. And see, now I can't even cancel them before they leave. So again, they have to walk out of the screen. So now the first method of speeding up, of cutting this process, is just clicking on the switch system, if you have it. So click, no caravans. They are gone and you can already speed them up or well, you can't cancel a coin caravan, right? But you can speed them up already, right? So that's the first thing. If you have the switch system, you can quickly 
quickly click on it and the caravans will will either appear at your caravan stop or they will go they will start their trip All right so the second second way is you can simply open the map and go back to your camp so let let me show you now okay so let's cancel two more caravans yay and they are coming here so to the map to the camp they are sitting here and you can send them wherever you want right okay so another popular problem has to deal with uh, god children so let's find someone with god children come on oh so there are some people here okay so sometimes sometimes you may you might have problems with finding god children right so here we we can see it, we can see a child quite, quite clearly but sometimes you may have difficulty they may be spawned at weird places right so in that case just click the portrait or the profile picture of your neighbor once again and the god children will be reshuffled they will be shown in different place so let's let's check it out now so as you can see this child here is near the foundry and now let me check ch uh, click the portrait again not here right they were moved somewhere oh there is one for example and again I'm clicking again and as you can see it's here near the caravans so anytime you click the, ch ch the children will be displayed in another place and this can help you locate them if you have some bad luck uh, initially and you can't find them okay fourth one has to do with decorations uh, m many people have this issue because they have a lot of decorations out, uh, out and they have no idea how to hide them they click and nothing happens like here see this is a decoration I'm clicking nothing happens so what you have to do is just you have to toggle the decoration lock simply which is here at the bottom of the screen you click more options and there is this icon with uh, with the flower or whatever says decoration lock so you just click it and then you can click you can mouse over the decorations as well as windmills you can rep reposition them you can hide hide it move it right so you can in this way you can hide all your decorations quite simply okay so the next trick has to do with claiming the energy from your neighbors so many people believe that you have to refresh the game on, or open it anew to get that that energy that your friends sent you by collecting gold children <clears throat> but this is actually not so you can simply open the notifications on Facebook then you will find something like this biggest adventure someone sent you a request so if you click this thing here while in the game you see the energy will appear and you don't have to exit the game and load it again it will appear here just by clicking on this request many people don't know that and they they open the game and you every time they want to claim energy and this actually is very beneficial because you can choose the time when uh, when you want to claim this energy right okay so number six actually has to do with the windmill achievement uh, the one that you are putting windmills in your friends camp so people actually uh, sometimes especially the newer newer players tend to think that you actually need to set those windmills at real camps and what you can actually do is just go to Mr. Bill's camp let me show you now so you just enter Mr. Bill's camp you set some windmills here let's we don't need to okay so even even okay so Mr. Bill now has three windmills okay so we can just click on his icon again and voila he has zero uh, again and we can reset it in this way as many times as we want so it's actually possible to to, to I don't know to, to set like uh, 10,000 windmills in one go pretty much just click his icon he will get refreshed he will have zero windmills every time you refresh him okay and finally last but certainly not least uh, is a method, a trick which allows you to enlarge your uh, field of view, sort of, a, a, 
the range of view in the game. So many people again may not be aware of this fact but how much you see in the game uh, actually depends on your resolution on on your screen right so if you have a big monitor if you have high resolution you will see you will see a lot in the game but there is a nice little trick that allows you to see even more and now i will i will now uh try to show it to you okay so first let's go to full screen the normal full screen for my uh, for my for my monitor okay and let's go to a mine to see how how it looks like okay so that's that's what i see on one screen normally without tampering with any options without doing any tricks okay so it's not much right the level is quite uh, big here you can see a lot of other stuff that is not visible in one screen so you can actually see a lot more at, at once so how do you do this you do this by uh, changing the percentage in your uh, browser so this is available in all all browsers pretty much i'm using chrome but you can also do it in any other popular browser and it should be done in a similar way so what we do here is you you will find 100 percent figure and you lower this figure down the lower you figure the lower again <laughs> the lower you decrease the figure the more you will see okay so let's put it at 75 percent okay so you put it at 75 percent and now you turn the full screen in game in the game on again you see you can you can already see a lot more on the screen so this is 75 percent but we can of course go lower even lower than that okay so let's go to 50 percent and now check the full screen you see you can see a lot more this way and you can go as low uh, as uh, 25 percent so that's the smallest I oh yes so as you can see that's quite hardcore and it won't be even possible to play it like that but it's helpful for taking screenshots maybe for looking at the whole level right so this is the maximum the maximum range of view you can get by lowering to 25 percent in your browser and then changing the result the changing to a full screen right and here a very nice gimmick a very funny actually effect i will show you how the camp looks right so obviously the game is not fit for such a such a great view and as you can see i can see a lot uh, a lot of broken background here and it doesn't work simply right but in in the locations like i showed you just a while ago just a sec ago in the locations you will see like the whole area at the same time so this is helpful for screenshots and i don't know stuff like that okay yeah so that's that was the last one i had for you today and it was azerate i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or doubts you can ask them in the comments and see you next time